good. You know what she did that you guys should see that? I really like what you did. When he took you over in that side headlock and then you went to get back up, she threw her right leg over to cross mm -hmm. and turned right back into it. That was perfect. Really? Yeah. That was a real good example. Yeah. I'm Rick Drazen, also known as the Equalizer, professional wrestler, AWF champ, uh, 38 years of pro wrestling. This is my house. This is where I do all my stuff. <laughs> I'm in better shape. I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. I lost about 30 pounds. Um, I get to hang out with some cool guys. I get to feel like I'm participating and, and I get to do something I thought I never had a chance to do. I like working with these people. I, I like the results that they've had because they've come to me overweight. I have one who's dyslexic, ADD. I have one who's autistic. I have one who has high blood pressure, high cholesterol. He needs to lose about 50 pounds. I have women that do the same. When they step in here and train with me, I teach them the basics of wrestling. I teach them how to get an aerobic workout out of it. I restructure their diet to basically a bodybuilding diet of high protein, low carb. And I've had amazing results with all of them. I, I like them to sit there and gasp when I do something. <laughs> or, you know, that son of a... So I, I, I live off that. See how he hops into it? Yep. Yeah, this is my dream right here ever since. I want to be a wrestler. <laughs> she got to the top. To the WE. I hit and I went across here. This is my first day. I really like, want to be the next Lita. Much better. It's almost like a dance that's not quite so girly. Good. That was nice. I came here uh, a little over a year ago, 75 pounds heavier than I am now. And uh, just completely out of shape. And I just wanted something besides just working out in the gym that was going to inspire me. Supposed to count with your feet, you guys. I'm 59. Focus on it and character. Good? Work up together. Uh, my goal when I started this a, year, a little over a year ago was to have one professional match before I was 60. That's it. I have learning disorders, I have dyslexia, I have ADD, so it took me a long time to be able to do the little bit I'm doing right now. Okay, reverse it. My name is Brian Lambert, and uh, I've been wrestling since, since, back home. Good. Now, so, um, I, I like wrestling so much, like, I was, I was a kid. I, I pull ahead and uh, and then I go down. I'm here because my son has a dream of being a wrestler. Good. It's just I have to pull my arm and... He has autism spectrum disorder and uh, that's never stopped him. He's show. loved wrestling since he was three. I do worry because I know injuries do occur, but I'm more worried he's going to hurt somebody else than the other way around. Because <laughs> he comes out with these moves and I'm like, where did he get that from? He wasn't even taught that. As you guys are like helping each other, when you throw them, you're throwing them high yeah. so that you can miss them. But the idea is to really throw it right there. And so you've got to really duck it or you're going to take your head off. I need to lose about 100 pounds. And uh, I've got high blood pressure. I've got diabetes. I've got... Uh, I've been to the doctor and he's told me, you know, you've got to lose weight or you're going to not live very long. And then I met Rick and he, uh, he told me about how I could change my life and uh, just start a whole uh, a training program to let me lose weight, get myself in shape, and actually have fun doing it. Because I'm good at this. This is why I'm here. Going to the ropes and then duck a clothesline and then take a clothesline. Uh, they're, they're a great bunch of guys, so it looks like it, they're all there to help you get through it. Better. Now throw it. And every time the new guy comes in, it looks like they all kind of band around him and help him out. Look what's happening. You're yeah. hitting it there. And this hand will go right back, and your hands will hit you right in your own face. So you keep it down. You know, who knows? I, just from watching this today, I, I, I couldn't believe what these guys are doing. You're, you're waiting for it. You're tensing up, and you're waiting for that bump. It's like, it's like a ride at a, at a, on a... Ferris wheel or something, you're like, when are we going to go down? So like magic, you don't reveal the secrets of magic or wrestling, but now with the internet, there's no secrets in life at all. You guys had a lot of good moves and stuff in there, but I didn't see any communication. It was like, rush, 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 rush. But later on, we'll work on all that when we have matches. It's like a movie. It's, 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 you've got your good guy 
good versus evil in a movie, you have your chase scenes, which are the high spots in the ring, and then it comes to a climax in the end where one almost wins, but the other one shifts and the other one comes out on top. And that's what I teach them.